different places that um, it's, it's brought with an example. The example for that is an introduction that's brought with the example of a person a person that, for example, it comes to Yomtev. So Chassidah says it comes to Yomtev of Pesach. Pesach is the greatest Yomtev. It comes seven weeks later, Shavuos is the greatest Yomtev. It comes Sukkot, Sukkot is the greatest Yomtev. So Chassidah says the question, how could we say, if it's Pesach, it's Pesach. How do we come and say later, seven weeks later, that it's another Yomtev? The answer is that every Yomtev has in itself something that the other Yomtev does not have, has a certain quality that the other Yom Tev does not have, and it accomplishes, this Yom Tev exclusively offers it, accomplishes it. Whatever needs to be accomplished, on a spiritual level, on a physical level. So the Rebbe says that this is also, another explanation would be that this is, that be, when we find ourselves during the, at the time of that Yom Tev, that Yom Tev is the gate and channel through which everything in this phys- all the Tero mitzvahs that a person does <clears throat> that day or during the seven days of that Yom Tev elevates through that Yom Tev. So this is considered a shar, a gate, a channel. The same way that Alter Rebbe says there's a certain mitzvah that, every per- that a person has that he is more cautious with it, he's more uh, involved in it, he, enhan- more, he does it in a more enhanced way, and this is the b'mayha v'zoyer t'vei. The Gemara, the Talmud asks the question, by, some, by one of the sages, your father, in what was he more careful? What was he more uh, uh, involved in? And, and in what mitzvahs did he really do it with a special enhancement? So Chassidus explains what does it mean, enhancement? It doesn't mean only uh, 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 he was careful with Zoy, but the word Zoy also means shining. Through what mitzvah did all this Tato mitzvah shine? Through what mitzvah did he add an enhancement in all the Tato mitzvahs? Which means that that mitzvah was sort of a gate, a channel, through which his whole Tato mitzvahs elevated Lamaila, elevated to a higher level. The same thing is here also. So the Rebbe says there are certain mitzvahs, even though they're in a spiritual sense, but in this physical world. And that is a gate or a ladder through which Tato mitzvahs elevate. Nobody here. Through which Tero Mitzvah adds, elevates, this is the uh, ladder of Tfila, because Tfila is considered a ladder coming from below to above, Sulam Mutzavarza, a ladder, and as the Zayar says, Sulam Dosinai. Sulam, Sulam Dotsleisa, Sulam is the union of davening, prayer, Tfila, and Sulam is also. Do Sina Dinyan of Matan Teira. So Chassidus explains there is the uh, there is the um, the Tfila. Uh, there is the ladder as Sulam as uh, davening is a ladder. Prayer is a ladder through which Teiro Mitzvahs elevate to a higher level, and a person elevates. He goes up from one level to another through all the worlds. And then there is another level of, of Sulam, another feature in, in, in a ladder, which is compared to Sinai, Har Sinai. What is by Har Sinai? By Har Sinai, it's from above to below. From above to below, a descent. Although Chassidus usually speaks about Sulam, speaks about an union of prayer. That Sulam is the union of prayer from below to above, climbing up the four steps, the four sections of prayer. But still, the Zayar also says, Da Sinai. But here the Rebbe speaks about it, about Tfila. So the Rebbe says like this, This is the letter of Davenik. Although Tfila, prayer, is a mitzvah, a commandment of Dibor, which means orally, verbally, a person says something. So it's not really, we would think, that it's not so much a spiritual level, it is verbally, which verbally, Dibor Choshev Maisa Zutar. When a person says something, it's considered like a small action. Mikol Matim Omru Razal. The Razal say, Eisi Aveda Shebelev Zutfila. What is the Aveda Shebelev? What is the service in the heart? It's the union of Tfila. Prayer. Hainu de Iker Inyan Atfila Hu Ayesu Aveda Shebelev Aveda Ruchnis. The main part of the davening is that it is an Aveda in the heart. A spiritual Aveda, Leshabed, Alev, Abedosa, Yisbarech. 
to commit his heart to Hashem's service. Which over here we see that a Chagav, the Rebbe speaks about it in Nasicha in Nigaris Hatshuva, that there are certain mitzvahs that a person has to do it on two levels. Teira is one of them. By Teira we find also. A person learns Teira, he has to understand it. It's mind. But he also has to say it bedibor. Chayim heim lemeitzeyeyem. That it's life for one that says it, and it says, Al tikri meitzeyem elo meitzeyeyem, meitzeyeyem bepeh. Which means that he says it out, in the, he says it out also orally, verbally. What is the reason? Because the body has to be involved in it. As we're going to have it in Tanya, in two prokim from now, in Perik Lamed Zayim, the 37th chapter, that, that a person has to involve his limbs because this is the purpose that he is a soul in a body. That the body has to become part of Aveda Sashem, participate in the, in the fulfillment of Teiru Mitzvahs. The same thing the Rebbe says is also Tefillah. By Tefillah, on one hand, it's Aveda Ruchnias. It's a spiritual Aveda. It's heart. It's emotions. Love of Hashem, fear of Hashem. Together with that, it is also uh, Dibba. He has to say the words. It's not enough Kavana. As it says, al like the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, the 38th chapter of Tanya, that uh, if a person ha- would uh, Kavana, that Kavana mitzvah belek, because this is on the other hand, mitzvah belek Kavana is kikuf belek neshama. That a mitzvah without an intention, without meditation, concentration, is like a body without a soul. Together with that, if he has a Kavana, he has all kinds of intentions, meditation, and concentration. But if he didn't do it in a factual way, he didn't fulfill the mitzvah. So the male these are the two things. This is the chelik hamaisai, the physical part of the tefillah is verbally saying the words. That's the halacha too. You know, if you, in the tefillah, if you say without, uh, if you, the chavan without... Uh, that's the halacha rucha, yeah. That's what the Alter that's how the Alter Rebbe quotes it. Halacha be mishneh, be be halacha. That aloha arucha, he says, Eloshan, that it's a kavana without mitzvah, he didn't accomplish anything. He needs the body. He needs the body. Right, if he didn't say the words. Right, that even in tefillah, right, because even in tefillah, in prayer, he needs actually the physical words also, to literally say the words. But that's specific to mitzvah of tefillah, it's not all the mitzvahs, right? Tefillah. That's why we say the Shem Yichud. Oh, Fashidin. The Alter Rebbe brings the Fashidin halachas. That's why we say the Shem Yichud. The Shem Yichud is is the Hagdom. Is the beginning of the day. Alchana for the whole day. But it's for him. Say like every time. It's every time he says. Yeah. By others either. By Pele Shachidim also. You have some of them that they say the Shem Yichud in some groups before every mitzvah. Sfiras Haimer. They say their Pesach. So they say the Shem Yichud. By us, we say in the morning. And as the Rebbe Rasha brings in a Maimer, it's interesting. And the Rebbe quotes it later. The Rebbe mentions it later. That it's every that it's a uh, every that, that it's one for the whole day. What about the berkat hachama? We said it's yichud. No, not by us. Once in twenty eight years, who does it? Chabad doesn't say the same yichud uh, by by uh, anything. Shechayon, yeah. there's a sicha from the Rebbe about it. There's a lot of stuff that the Rebbe taught us on the uh, blessing the the son, the making the blessing on the son every twenty eight years. In 1981 was the last time. The 4th of Nisan was a Wednesday, and the Shabbos before, the whole Fabrengen. It's a shame it was never, trans- that Fabrengen was not translated in English. For whatever oh. reason, the whole part of it, now they translate a part of it, and I think it came out from Mercus, from Gauss. But Lepeel, the Rebbe, the whole Fabrengen was the, all the different customs, uh, what, you know, all the different details. The Rebbe covered everything, it was amazing, the whole Fabrengen. Remember, remember. Oh, the Shechayonu is to have in mind also a fruit or something, not just Tam Shechayonu. The Rebbe was not comfortable with the Shechayonu alone, to have a fruit. The Rebbe said later, in a later Fabrengen, in Pasha B'chokesai, that he actually started to wear new kapote. That was part of the Shechayonu, the Rebbe said. Okay, so time, Mela, let's, let's get back to... to uh, the time is 8 in the morning. 8 early. No 8 a.m. No There's no mices over here from, from, uh, from, from after Chatzais. Before Chatzais, the Rebbe came out in 1981, 8 in the morning. I was there. 8 in the morning. I think in 1953, when it was the earlier time, the, the earlier uh, 28 years, also. Chama was 8 in the morning. 